All right, hello. So we talked about inequalities today and how to draw or how to graph an inequality. So let's go over the last two or three or the last two on this page that we started in class today. All right, this reads negative 2 is greater than or equal to v or v is less than or equal to negative 2. Now when you see an inequality where the um, variables on the left is on the right hand side, you can rewrite this so the variables on the left side. That will make it easier to read. So we're going to switch our variable over here and our number that we're comparing it with over here. So that puts v on this side and negative 2 on this side. Now when we switch them, we also have to flip the inequality sign, just like so. So now this reads v or any number less than or equal to negative 2. So when we graph this, we look at our graph right here, our number line, and it's going to be a let me see, negative 2. This is going to be a closed circle. A closed circle means it's a big dot that is filled in. And the line is going to the left because it is all numbers less than or equal to negative 2. All right, number 12. Okay, this time our, our variable is already on the left-hand side, so we don't need to rewrite anything. This reads x or any number less than 5. This is a less than sign. So because it is a, a less than, it's going to be an open circle at 5, and less than means to the left, less is to the left, all numbers less than 5. That's how we graph this one. We could also uh, use the me memory that I taught in class as long as your variable is on the left. X is less than 5. Draw, your, draw a line from the point of the inequality to make it an arrow. And look, it's an arrow that points to the left. All numbers less than 5. On the back side was our homework, numbers 1 through 5. We did number 1 in class, so I'll, I'm going to do number 2. Number 1. All right, a minus 4 is less than or equal to 2. We have to add 4 to both sides because we have to first isolate the variable. Negative 4 plus 4 gives us 0, so we are left with a on the side of the inequality. On the other side, we're left with 6. So a is less than or equal to 6. Because it's or less than, it will be a closed circle. And the all numbers less than, so it goes to the left. All right. I'll skip down. We'll do number 4. Or we'll just do number 3. All right. Here we have our variable that's on the right-hand side, so I'm going to solve for s, and then I'm going to switch my inequality around. So I subtract 3 from this side, cancels out, so we're left with s. Whatever we do to one side, we do to the other. That gives us 9 is, great, is greater than or equal to s. When we flip it around, we're left with s is greater than or equal to, excuse me, I need to flip it around, I didn't flip it around. S is less than or equal to 9. I've now changed my inequality sign as well as I changed where the places of the 9 and the S. So when I graph this, it's going to be a closed circle because it is or equals to. So I'm going to go to 9, closed circle. And it's all numbers less than 9. I can draw a little arrow. Look, it's an arrow pointing to the left. All numbers, including 9, will, will satisfy this inequality. All right, and number, no, number 4. Once again, my variable's on the right. 
I still need to solve for t. So draw my line. Negative 11 plus 11 gives us 0. Whatever we do to one side, we must do to the other. 6 plus 11 is 17. All right, so 17 is greater than t. And I'm going to rewrite this so the t is on the left side. So I'm going to flip this over here, flip this over here, giving me t on this side. And flip my inequality sign. So now it reads t is less than 17. Less than is an open circle. And less means it goes to the left. All right. Very good. All right. We will work out number five tomorrow in class. And have a good evening.